Go higher. Thank you. Now, okay, so these are the bounce from, sets. They, these these sets are the ones where us has a very good chance of winning. Aside or, I don't know if I very good, but they have a good they have a chance. Aside from HP water, I don't see how Grass team would have a chance to yeah. win. Okay, well I'll I'll go through this. Maybe, so basically maybe. first of all, um the also Aqua Barrier first of all. That means that it will take reduced down to a fire type attack. Okay. So if Chapman is not a flare bit, it won't always carry Bulbasaur. Okay. Meanwhile, every now meanwhile, Bulbasaur can sunny day to boost its speed, and then it can be slammed the next turn because the power was going to, going to be bad and um done. But, but it will uh, be slammed the next turn. But sunny day will also power up uh, fire moves, so I don't think that's a good idea. And it will uh, weaken yes. HP water. Yes, but now let's. Since, but it will get a choice chance at the slam, and then Charmander will be taken down to some HP. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll KO Bulbasaur the next turn, and then um, Ivysaur will also outspeed Charmander thanks to it also having Chlorophyll. Okay, so it I can come I out and then see... just slump it off. I didn't see HP Rock also. Yeah, you can just like uh, HP Rock or Sludge Bomb, depending on whether or not you. Uh, it probably is better HP Rock at upper the slam because I guess that's KO range. Anyway, so it'll be outspeeding Charmander and get HP Rock. Meanwhile, Sun will still be up and it'll outspeed the rest of Red as well. So probably Red will want to have Armelian coming out right afterwards because Heavy Sword and HP Rock power is... Oh, actually, no, wait. Um, Red Team will actually want Charizard out because Ivy Sword slower than Charizard even after its Chlorophyll boost. And they can one-shot Ivy Sword and Sun with this wave. Mm -hmm. So actually, Charizard is a problem here. Like, the only way to really beat Charizard is if you are able to protect store the um protect store that um that sun. But then, uh, but then we have uh, Venusaur, and um, it's not so fast. Hmm. Yeah, like Charizard is a big problem here. The only way to really okay, then let's see. We'll surf. So Blue's in deep fair, but we'll see how they handle this. They're going to switch out to Venusaur turn 1. That's probably a tank for but but um, I expect that that's going to be OSH KO'd by this Charmander. Charmander will take a lot of the coil damage, but I'm not really certain how that's a good thing for Blue, because now they are still going to be outsped by Charmander the next turn. And now they are 2v3, so I don't think uh, they will manage to win this battle. Um, I didn't work on these sets directly, by the way. No warning. I think Charles would have made these, um, these sets here, most of them at least. And they gave a chance for you to win, for us to win. I'm not certain exactly how big of a chance, but... Um, I'm, not, I'm also not sure if this Charizard is actually the intended set for this matchup because it is a pretty OP set that we have here and I'm not sure if Charizard would really intended this Charizard to actually be, be the set involved in the Grass vs. Fire. Let's see. Now, Bulbasaur and uh, Ivysaur have a speed advantage. Yes. Thanks to As I said earlier, Phil. Charizard actually outspeeds both of them in the sun. At least I think uh, it definitely outspeeds Ice or the Sun. I'm not sure how Bulbasaur speed. I didn't get a chance to look at that. So they send out Charmeleon next, and Bulbasaur will outspeed it, but it'll be KO'd the next by its own attack. Or they I can think, send out Charizard uh, right now, actually. That I last think, second switch uh, comes we in. Need, uh, I think we will need a 1-8 KO on the Charizard. Okay, they tap that and Heat Wave will KO Bulbasaur. Because have they try to split a lot? The only way they can win, I think, is if they get um, a miss from Heat Wave. They can, they can probably go for a miss from Heat Wave. That's the only way to win, I believe. Hmm. 
And these are the steps from the starter match yeah, okay. Well, I think this Charizard really needs to be fixed, because that's this is way too OP for this matchup. So in the end, it will be Charizard essentially taking down both Ivysaur and Bulbasaur, and Red Team will pick that pretty decent payout, considering this is just Fire versus Grass, and if it heavily favors towards Fire. Yeah, I think this is like I think this is the basis of a decent fire versus grass matchup, but there needs to be needs to be a way to make Charles out a lot weaker. Shouldn't be able to outspeed both Bulbasaur and Ivysaur in the sun. That's just way hashtag, too strong. Hashtag hashtag nerf Charizard. Nerf Charizard indeed. More puzzle challenge coming up. And the token goes to Ego Buff, longer